Hello guys, my name is Alfredo Rodriguez, which you guys know me as well, and this is my video on my community service hours for leadership class. Um, I volunteered for the Reebok Spartanus, which is a giant, it was a super race, so it was a giant 10 mile obstacle course race, where people who push their limits really come out on top to feel amazing about themselves. It's kind of, you know, like running a marathon, but not as short, but more rigorous than anything from that great night I would know because I also ran it myself afterwards. Um, it took place towards the beginning of this sign-in project, and it happened right up there in 163rd Street, edge in the entire Biscayne Park. Ten miles of rigorous courses everywhere. Um, I did all my ten hours in one event. I volunteered at 6 a.m. Left after ten hours and raced. Left the same race I was looking for. Um. What I did, I all volunteered at a certain position to make sure everyone was safe going over a certain obstacle and everyone got over that obstacle just fine without breaking the necks and falling down or something like that, you know? Um, why I chose the rest of this? I mean, I like the idea of people pushing themselves to the limits, you know what I mean? People pushing themselves to the limits to really find out what the human body is capable of. I mean, we're not all Batman, we can't all bench press 10,000 pounds, but we can sure wish we could, and we'd all want to know what our maximum limits are. Um, my leadership style also came in there. I'm a very hands-on, very participative leader. Um, when I volunteer or whenever I work, I like to be hands-on, and I like to be in whatever what else is going on. So if someone's in the shits, pardon my language, then I'm in the shits. If someone's doing great, I'm doing great along with them. But as soon as someone else just falls, I'm hopping, I'm like, sorry guys, you're good, I'm going to hop right into there, which is exactly how I am in the kitchen, it's how I am in life. If someone's struggling, I like to get in there and help them on my own, it's how I am. Um, I use the same service because people want to know how you climb an eight-foot wall with no ladders, no steps. So I'm like, alright guys, you're going to jump, grab the top of the wall, and pull yourself out of the push-up, which is me doing an actual event. And, yeah, uh, it's probably a good experience, and I probably will go back and do it again. Thank you.